Hello and welcome to the Pythonic Web3 series. My name is Miguel and I'm your host to show you the Python side of Web3 development. So don't go anywhere. Grab a drink, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get into the snake pit. On the last episode, we did something wonderful. We did this contract which says hello to everybody. We are going to do something different today. Um, let's create a new contract and try to make something uh, useful. Counter. Why a counter? Just because it's fun. So we can have a increment function. pass by now def decrement function we are also going to pass and this is it we have our counter okay so uh, count as you int 256 and count equals to count plus one and count equals to count minus one so this is our counter and it's addressed by self never forget about this let's let's try to build it no, cannot read property of undefined reading split. I don't even know what this means. Maybe we need to define some stuff here. Uh, how is it? It's like this, none. Returns none. Returns none. Oh, almost forgot count that re oh, it returns that you in 256 and return self dot count uh, not sure if it's good to be like this maybe I'll do it like this I do have to check out the standards the coding standards for for this but Let's try to build again. Yeah, I need to check it out what's going on. Give me a moment, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, external. External, and this is also external. Let's try to build. It's different at least. What's going on now? Return volume must be a type name or a tuple. So we cannot return none. Yeah, okay. Fine by me. Ha, it's building. Let's deploy it and try it out. Not here, it's here. Uh, deploy the counter okay it's deployed now we do have the count it should be zero it's not zero why why it's not returning anything actually we don't need this we don't need any of this goodbye to this and let's put it like this let's call it public you int and let's remove these underscores which I don't think it was a good thing to have anyway let's build it let's deploy it let's get this out of the way and deploy 
now we do have a count which is returning zero I don't know why that function was not returning zero I need to find out and now I do increment and it's one increment again and it's two and decrement and it's one again and the decrement and it's zero now I'm going to fail this and because I would need to check if I would um, overflow or underflow and in this case it will underflow let's see how it works it failed nice it just fails transaction yeah it because it has um, underflow uh, checks by default which is nice okay so it just underflows it reverts the transaction has been received uh, reverted to the initial state uh, you may want cautiously increase the gas blah, 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 blah. doesn't matter it's working fine and it's zero increment again and it's one increment and it's two yeah so the under the underflow uh, it's working just fine I'm not going to test the overflow because it's uh, a really big number uh, okay so we have this contract if we want to make it pretty we do a pragma version 0310 which is the latest version that I'm using um, what else what else what else maybe you, let's make this complete the init is the constructor uh, we don't need to do anything but just for the the sake of uh, demonstrating uh, the constructor let's uh, set the count to one also I would like to show you guys how to make uh, an event and I, I want to show you uh, how to make a, a contract that is a little bit more complete than the hello world uh, that we did before so let's try to to put st some stuff here uh, increment event and the increment event will uh, have a count which is a u int 256 and yeah let's do something uh, different here increment which is uh, you in 256 you you guys will understand what I'm doing and also a decrement event is this right decrement event and now we are going to add the capability to increment something other than one uh, so number you in 256 and now we will increment the number and the same for the decrement number you int 256 and the decrement the number yeah actually we can call it count I don't like this count name either but now we will trigger the event which is with log uh, ink Increment event with uh, I think it's like this so the first one is the count and then the second one self dot count and we will do the same for the decrement event yeah looks kind of good let's see if it works Compile, compile, compile. Da -da -da -da. 
stuff in it. Visibility, visibility. We need it to be external. And there we go. Let's deploy. Guys, this will be amazing if it works. <laughs> I'm not really sure how is this going to work, but count is one because we initialized it uh, with one instead of zero because by default, if you don't do anything, it will be zero. Now we are going to increment and let's try it with one. Nice, it didn't fail. Wow. <laughs> uh, logs, 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 logs. Yes, 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 yes. We have the increment by one because we are incrementing by one and the count will be two. Let's see, count is two. Nice. Now we are going to increment by five. Let's do it. Let's check the logs. The increment was five and the count is seven. Let's check it out. Seven. Nice. It's working just fine. So we are receiving events. Uh, so these events are really useful when you guys are trying to check out what's going on inside the, inside the contract. So the, this is kind of a logging system uh, so that your applications uh, might be, uh, might track the function calling and the sequences and some events that might go uh, inside your contract. Your application may want to react on these events, uh, which will mostly be very useful because you don't want your contract to be a, a really contained system. Uh, your application will have to know what's going on in, in the contract, the operations that it's doing, uh, so that the outside world can react to, to the contract. We still need to try the decrement. Let's try the decrement. Let's decrement by 10. It should fail. Nice, it fails because it underflows. Now let's decrement by three the count should become four if i'm not wrong yeah four nice let's see the the event Dec <laughs> yeah i'm calling it increment it, it should be decrement but okay it, it, it's fine uh and the count is four so it is working this is uh, really cool as you guys can see, the contract is really small. It's nothing very complicated. Uh, comparing to, to Solidity, it's sort of easier, uh, I guess. The, the syntax uh, looks a, a little bit cleaner. And for, for the, the Python guys, you, you guys are really aware of what's going on here. Uh, I have nothing else to say on this episode. This is becoming really easy to learn. I'll see you guys on the next one.